Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to rig up a Canon R7 for shooting professional video. Now there's a lot going on here, there's a lot of features, but it's modular, so you can build it up as much or as little as you want and it comes apart really quickly. And I'll go through all those details. But this is amazing for shooting professional video. We have a handle on the side, we have a handle on the top, we have a monitor, audio, and we also have a battery solution that this all can run off of. So let me show you all the details here. All right, so I got everything out here and this is gonna be a lot of fun. But before we get into it, huge disclaimer, Small Rig did send me most of these parts for free, but they don't get to see this video before it goes up and they didn't pay me anything for this video. And of course, if I'm recommending something, it's because I actually like it. So there are affiliate links down below if you wanna go check out any of these products. Of course, the affiliate links won't cost you anything extra, but really help out the channel. All right, with that being said, let's get into it. So the, the, the base of the whole thing is gonna be the small rig black mamba cage. And I also use one of these with the R5C and I think they're just absolutely awesome. So the thing that I like about the black mamba cages and most of the small rig stuff is every year I feel like the cages just get a little bit better with their products. And I'm personally not a huge fan of cages in general. I like to keep things very minimal, but once you get this on the camera, it feels like it's part of the camera and it really doesn't block any of the um, the ports and features and stuff like that. The other thing that's really nice about this as I put this together is that this cage has three points of contact, which if you've ever used a cage on a camera before, you know that it can be wobbly and loose and stuff like that. So there's one on the bottom here and it also comes with this key that's magnetic, which I love because you always need that. <laughs> it's right there for you. And then there are two pieces that go in the sides here and they are keyed out the same way so you can't really mess it up. So these slide in and then there's a screw that goes in there. And there's one for each side, which as I said, gives you three points of contact on this camera, which I love. So I'll put this in here. And then on the other side, so you can see it has the same shape there. Now, as I said, one of the things I really love about this is just the accessibility to everything on the camera. And when you're holding the camera by the grip, it still feels like you're holding the camera and not really holding the cage. So I really do enjoy that. So let me just get this in here. Tighten this down. All right pop this back in the bottom. And as you can see, it is really well form fitting. And the nice thing on the top here is I'm not reaching underneath the cage to get to any of the buttons or dials. I have access to all the ports and the, 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 the SD card slot is available. Battery is easily accessible. And also on the bottom, which is really cool, is this is Arca Swiss. So this goes right in and uh, you don't have to add another plate if you're using Arca Swiss, which I love. All right, so we got the cage on here. As I said, mounts up really nicely, fits it really well. So the first thing I wanna add here is a top handle, and this is the Black Mamba top handle, which fits on this perfectly. It has RE locating pins. Those are the two smaller pins next to the big threaded one, which fits on here perfectly. And to tighten it down, you can just grab the little key underneath, put it in here, give a little bit of a twist, and there you go. Again, no extra tool needed because you already have it. Now, I'm just gonna pop the lens on here. I have the RF 15 to 35, which is my favorite Canon lens most of the time. All right, just so it's a little bit more balanced, it's not falling over the table. So as of right here, I think this is a great place to start. You have a little bit more protection. You have a top handle, which is super handy just for moving the camera around and also for getting low angle shots and stuff like that. So even just starting with this is a great point to start. You can add a microphone on top or on the side because there's a nice cold shoe right here. Lots of great options. So the next thing I wanna add is the, the side handle. And this one is really cool. It's small, it's pretty minimal. As I said, it's got a nice feeling to it. It has a NATO rail holder on this side here and it's reversible so you can put it on either side. But the cool thing about this cage is that this part over here is NATO as well. So I'm gonna put this on and then tighten this down. And of course you can get the height or whatever, wherever you need it. But right now I have a really nice handheld rig. Now the R7 is a, you know, not a full size camera. So having a little bit extra is awesome. If you want to shoot it handheld, you have two places to hold it. Now, the other reason why I want the handle on here is because once we want the monitor on top, we are going to need room for the, uh, the microphone on this side. So let's put that on. So the monitor mount I'm using is another piece from small rig. It has 
the RE locating pins on the part that goes onto the handle here. So it fits in really, really well. And then the monitor goes up top. So I'm using the Atomos Ninja V Plus, which is definitely overkill for most things, but long story, either way, I use the Atomos because I'm often recording the screen for um, demos and tutorials and stuff for this, for this channel, so that's why I have it. All right, so that goes on top. And as you can see here, there's not really a place to put a microphone, so that's where this handle on the side comes in right here. So we'll put that in a little bit, but that's what allows that to, to work is to have the handle on the side there. All right, so we got our monitor. Let's talk about battery solutions. Now, there's a couple options here. Of course, the battery in this camera runs over two hours recording in 4K, which I love. The battery life is great on this camera. Also, you could just put a battery on the back of the monitor, right? But there's other solutions too, and a lot of people are curious about how to get this camera to run all day and all run off one battery. So if I am using a bunch of accessories, it is really nice to be able to power everything off of one battery. And so the heart of that is gonna be this battery here from Small Rig. This is their new batteries, which are really, really cool. I've also reviewed the FX Lion batteries, which are very similar. This is neat because it has a percentage on here, which shows you, you can charge this through DTAP, which has a DTAP port, but you can also charge it through just USB. So I charge this with USB-C because I don't have a DTAP charger. And it's really cool because on the top here, we have USB-A, USB-C, and two eight volts. So we're gonna, or sorry, two DC ports here. One's eight volts, one's 12 volts. We'll use the eight volt to power the camera. And then we can, you know, you can also power things with USB. So you can use this for other things, not just camera stuff. And of course the DTAP is really handy for other accessories like the monitor. And on the back, this is a V-mount battery. So we're gonna use a V-mount plate to mount this. So super, super cool. All right, so let's set this up. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with this base plate. And this is a really simple base plate and it's gonna accept these uh, 15 millimeter rods. These are six inch rods, of course, get whatever size rods that you need. Now, I didn't wanna mount this directly to the bottom of the camera. I wanna have some sort of quick mount system. So I have this Arca Swiss mount here and I'm just gonna put this on here. And what this allows me to do is this allows me to get the camera on and off easily because the bottom of the cage, as I mentioned before, is Arca Swiss. Now, most of my tripod stuff is Manfrotto style, so I would put a Manfrotto plate on the bottom of this, and then this will go on my tripod. All right, so now we have our base plate. Let's get our rods in here. I'm just putting them on for now, we'll adjust them. And then this here is gonna be the battery plate where the battery mounts to. And I like this one a lot because it's very small and we're putting this on a fairly small camera. It's really easy to get, go overboard with the stuff and get huge stuff. And we're trying to keep this as small and as compact as possible. Now this is a pretty big battery and this is the 99. So this is, I think the largest one that you can fly on an airplane with, which is a cool size. They also make smaller ones. And for runtime, I tested this battery with the R7 running in 4K fine and the monitor it ran for four and a half hours. So that's a long time, especially because monitors use a lot of power, but you can power all, everything off of one battery, which I absolutely love, which I already mentioned. Okay, so here's the battery plate, and this is where the V-mount battery slides into. So we're gonna put this on the rods here. I have it out in the back, but we'll slide it in a second. All right, so now we have this on here and we can put the camera in. This is a little crooked. All right, so the camera now can just pop right in and we can tighten it down. And then this is the battery here. So what you can do is you can pop the, uh, the screen out there, which will help with keeping the camera cool. We'll just keep it in there for now. And so we just loosen these on the bottom and slide this in to get the battery close to the camera to keep it more compact. And then the battery can slide right on. And there you go. Now we have our battery on here. It feels really, really good. What I love about this is that for handhold, handheld stuff, you can just push this against your chest. You have three points of contact. It's very solid. Another thing that if you are running a lot of handheld video, it's really good to have weight on your camera. It really takes down the micro jitters, smooths out your footage. One of the hardest things to do with mirrorless cameras is shoot handheld. Even with IBIS, you still get a lot of that sort of 
wobbly, jerky kind of motion. But if you have IBIS on with this camera, especially with you know lenses like the RF 15 to 35 with the stabilization, and you put this up against your chest, it's going to be super stable, and I have the monitor right in front of me. All right, so what else can we do here? Well, we can add our microphone, like I said, and I would probably, you could add it here if you wanted to, but also I would probably just put it over here on the handle, which is one of the reasons I wanted to have that because often I see with a lot of rig solutions, the monitor gets in the way of putting a, a shotgun mic. So this is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Lots of different options out there. I've had this forever. I use this a lot when I'm doing vlogs and I'm out. I still really just love the, uh, the sound of it. So now we got this all rigged up and we have an awesome setup for handheld shooting or shooting on a tripod because as I said, we can mount the Manfrotto plate or whatever plate you need on the bottom and this pops on. Very easy to pop the camera on and off by just releasing that Arca Swiss. So we can pop the camera out away from the battery solution and we can easily pop it back on. All right, let's talk about hooking everything up here. So you have a few different options. We have to power the monitor and the camera. So you could just use internal batteries, uh, like I was saying, or you can use this big battery on the back, which I was talking about and sort of the big benefits of that. So there's a couple different ways of doing this, but I think the best way is to use a dummy battery. So this is also from Small Rig. This pops in the bottom of the camera. And you just have to be careful with the, the wire and the door. But let me just show you this, there's a little, cut out in the dummy battery here for the wire to fit in. So it pops in there and then into the camera. And there's a little door here too, which might be hard to see. But once you get it in, then you can close the battery door. There you go. All right, now this will plug into the, the battery in the back here. And if you can't remember which one to plug it into, it's the eight volt. But if you can't remember, just take a look at your battery. It'll say eight volts on it or 7.2 volts on it. So you know to plug it in the eight volt. Now there's a diff couple different options for powering the monitor. You could just use the regular battery, but if we're gonna have this big battery on the back, let's take advantage of that. Atomo sells a dummy battery. I don't know if other people do too. I got this with my monitor. This plugs in here. This is D-tap. So this plugs in over here. Only other things left to do is to hook up the audio and the HDMI, and we'd be good to go. And we have a pretty awesome setup here. I know I'd have to tidy up these wires and stuff, <laughs> but uh, this is a very awesome rig and just allows a lot of flexibility. And as I said, it comes apart pretty easily. So if you need to pop it out to do some other kind of work or take some photos or something like that, you can easily just detach everything, pop the camera out. Handle comes off quickly. And then I just tighten this with the, uh, the key underneath so we loosen that. And now we're just back to a camera. So very cool little setup here, a lot of different options. I love how modular everything is. I know some people are asking me about how to set up the camera. So this is how I would do it. Again, you could use different battery solutions and stuff, but it's really, really nice if you're shooting long days to have one big battery. And especially if you buy more than one of these, you could just, when it dies, swap it out and probably be good for the rest of the day. It is exhausting sometimes trying to manage lots of different batteries. So the battery in the monitor, the battery in the camera, you know, all the things that you have to think about and anything you can do to streamline your process while you're out shooting is awesome. Of course, the R7 has unlimited record time, right? No 30 minute record limits. So it's great for long form video. Anyways, want to share all this. As I said, there are affiliate links down below. It'd be greatly appreciated if you check those out. They really do help out the channel. Also hit subscribe. That would be awesome as well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.